Hey guys, good morning. Happy Vlogmas Day 7. I actually just sat down at my laptop and my desk to get started with work for the day. It's Monday morning, it's 9 a.m. It's time to crack on with some work. I have my iced coffee here and I'm just about to get started. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit tired today. It's gonna be a long day because I am just, you know, busy getting some stuff done by the start of the week. I also have a little bit of a surprise coming later today. I do have some deliveries that I'm expecting later today that um, I've arranged with some PR companies. So um, when they get here, I will show you guys what's in those deliveries. But um, yeah, I just need to get on with work today. I need to start the new week, start Monday off with as much energy as I can. I didn't sleep so well, so I'm a little bit tired. I'm probably looking very tired right now. But I just wanted to wish you guys all a good start to your week if you guys haven't already seen my previous vlog this is up until now I am vlogging every single day until Christmas and I will link the playlist up right now in the cards but I always link it down in the description as well so if you want to catch up on everything I'm doing up until Christmas please do subscribe today being the seventh day of vlogmas means there is let me do some math there's only 18 days until christmas guys 18 days oh my gosh i'm so ready for a break i don't know about you guys but i am actually stopping work on the 18th of december this year so i have a full two weeks holiday between um right before Christmas into the new year. So I am just ready for that break to be completely honest. So I am going to get on with work. I'll check in with you guys later today and have a good start to your day guys. So guys, just between meetings, to be honest, I have back-to-back -back meetings today, so I have very little time to even breathe or eat or anything, and I feel like Zoom days are just like that. I don't know. I know I've said it time and time again, but I just feel like I am ready for a break. I am ready for Christmas break to happen, but I am just eating lunch and I thought I'd show you guys what I'm eating today for lunch. I really don't usually have breakfast. I end up skipping that usually and um, I end up intermittent fasting kind of on purpose, not on purpose. I did do a workout this morning and then I didn't eat anything until now because I haven't had a break to eat anything to be completely honest. So I am having quiche or half a quiche, which is um, I think it's just cheese and onion. And then I'm having a bit of a side salad with that quiche. And that's what I'm having for lunch today. And then I've got a run because I've got a whole bunch of meetings to finish up before I'm done with the day. And then I'll check in with you guys later. Oh my gosh, it is now 5.30 and I'm still sat in front of my computer, still working. I probably have a few more things to take care of before I can shut off the laptop for the day. But it has just been one of those days where I have been on one Zoom meeting after another. I think from about 12.30 p.m. until about half an hour ago, I was on back-to-back -back Zoom calls. And I know I keep complaining about this, but it is really, really getting quite intense with the number of calls that I have to take in the lead up to Christmas break. I'm actually stopping work next Friday. Um, so that means that a lot of my customers and a lot of my team need a lot from me before that happens. But I'm trying to find balance. And in 2021, I am going to um, still be working from home and hopefully have a little bit more balance. But I've definitely tried a few different things to stay like you know, balance with work-life balance. I've taken days off from work. I've done a staycation. Um, I've tried to turn off notifications after a certain hour of the day, but none of that seems to work for me. I don't know. Do you guys have any suggestions of how I can maintain work-life balance and make sure I, yeah, really switch off? Like, what are your suggestions? Leave me a comment down below so I know what to try next. Anyways, I am expecting that delivery to come in any minute. I'm really excited. I'm so excited to have Oaxaca again. I just had Oaxaca yesterday, but I'm going to have Oaxaca in Casa tonight. Ooh, 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 ooh. Never enough Mexican food. Am I right or am I right? Give this video a thumbs up if you like Mexican food. It should be arriving any minute and then I'll be able to cook dinner and show you guys everything in my Oaxaca in Casa box. Anyways, guys, I'm going to just wrap up work and then I'll catch you guys in a bit. So, guys, I have been so kindly sent this Oaxaca in Casa box and I'm so excited. Oh, my gosh. It's so nice for Oaxaca to send me a little gift. I obviously was just at Oaxaca, but this is so nice. Honestly, I think that this is so sweet and it's called the Feast Box. And basically, you get everything to make an entire Mexican feast at home delivered to you. And it's just 
Oh, I'm so amazed. Oh my gosh, okay, let's see what's inside this box. Oh my gosh, guys, look, it's like everything to make a Mexican feast. Let me get everything out and then I'll show you guys it when I've gotten it all out of the box. This is everything that comes in that Oaxaca box. I am so impressed. It is everything to have a taco feast. So I got sent corn tortillas and then also some marinated chicken thighs that I'm gonna have to grill up. And then a three bean quesadilla, some fresh coleslaws. Um, what else? This is a salsa mix that you can see here. Some chips, some guacamole, and well, not guacamole, these are avocados. But how cute are these little margaritas? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look, it's just like you just shake it up and then serve it. Oh my gosh. Honestly, you can get Oaxaca at home if you live in London. I'll leave all the details down below if you guys are interested. But it's everything for a little Mexican feast. And as a Californian, I am so keen to make all this up and have a little taco feast Monday night margarita night. Yeah, that works. Monday night margarita night and a little bit of a Mexican feast. So let me cook this up and I'll show you guys exactly how it looks once I cook it all up. Oh, also it comes with directions in the box and also look how fun this is. This is like the feast box, but before you start, they give you a QR code so that you can scan it and then it starts playing music for you. It says, put on the playlist by scanning the QR code and you can crack open a beer or shake your margaritas and get the chips and dip out and it'll make food prep a dream. Honestly, how cute is this? Oaxaca just thought of everything. Like they give you the whole experience Experience of cooking at home but also enjoying it while you're cooking at home. I know 2020 has been the year of cooking at home and I've been a little bit exhausted from cooking at home but they've just made it so much fun for me to have a little Mexican feast. Anyways, I'm gonna put on this playlist. I'm going to cook all this up and I will show you guys my Monday night dinner shortly. So guys, I was also so kindly sent something and I kind of think I know what this is but I thought I'd open it with you guys. I think I was sent a cocktail set, yeah. Oh, let's see. Contemporary homage to the original Signet Cognac established 200 years ago. I think I just got cognac. Let's see what's in this box. Ooh, yes. Hang on, let me open this and then show you guys what I got. So I got some raspberries and then, ooh, I got some champers. Got some champagne. And then, oh, pure cane sugar. Need that for a cocktail. Got a lemon. I think this is a glass, I think. Let's see. To open everything with one hand. What is this? What are you? Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, actually, it's an ornament. Oh, yay, I'm gonna put this on my tree. I'll show you guys in a second. And, of course, the main event. I got some cognac. I honestly have never had cognac, I don't think. I'm not sure I've ever tried cognac before. Gosh, I'm gonna have such a fun Monday night, you guys. This was not planned. I'm gonna make my margaritas and I'm gonna have these. Ooh, it's gonna be a fun Monday night, guys. Stick around, I'm gonna clean this up, have dinner, and then we'll make cocktails, you guys. Getting in the festive spirit. I feel like December, it's okay to have cocktails on a Monday night because you're celebrating Vlogmas. But yeah, okay guys, I will catch you in a minute where to put it. I think you need to make a margarita before you can actually start cooking a Mexican feast. So that's what I'm gonna do with these tiny little classic margaritas. What do I do, just shake it? Shake it up, one, chill well, shake for 10 seconds, pour over a glass full of ice. Serve it like a pro. Hey, I wish cocktails were always this easy. Margarita time. Hey, hey, Margarita time. Cheers, guys. Happy Monday. So next up is to eat the chips and the salsa little platter that they gave you, which I think is really cute. And it also says not to eat too much of the salsa because I'm going to be using those in the taco. And there's three different types of salsa. There is the tomatillo and the chipotle and then the maja. I think that's how you say it. Don't, don't at me if I did this wrong. But yeah, okay, let's try some of these salsas out. I want, I'm gonna try the chipotle. Mmm, it's nice. Mmm. 
from each other is also nice. Oh, this one like needs to be stirred. There's like oil everywhere at the top. Oh, I just made a mess. Oh, this one's a bit weird. I feel like I'm just getting oil and not any of the salsa. Mmm. I feel like I need a spoon to stir that. Hang on. Okay, let's try that again. Mmm. I think this one would be nicer in the taco. But, have fun! I get a little starter of chips and salsa and my margarita now i have to actually cook the tacos so guys as you can see here this is my little spread of my oaxaca at home i have some beans here and then i have my three little chicken tacos those are some black bean quesadillas and then i've just kind of spread it all around because i'm going to take a picture if you guys want to see the final result of this please do check out my instagram i'll make sure to link it down below also a big thank you to oaxaca for sending me this lovely at home set i'm really um ready to dig in and eat and if you guys are interested in ordering this at home box it's oaxaca in casa i'll link it down in the description down below and it is perfect for dinner for two so i am going to tuck in and i will catch you guys in a bit once i finish dinner so guys it is cocktail time i have all my cocktail ingredients laid out here that was nicely sent to me i'm going to make this cocktail it actually goes into a champagne flute but got to mix some ingredients together so I'm going to make this now if you guys want to see everything just keep watching and I'll do a taste test once I've made this cocktail So guys, here is my final cocktail made with cognac and champagne. Let me just give it a try. Ooh, that is strong, but good. So guys, I'm just gonna enjoy this cocktail and uh, yeah, I'm gonna open my advent calendar in a little bit, but I'm just gonna have this cocktail. Whoop, happy Monday guys, cheers. So guys, after a long Monday, honestly a little bit too long for my liking, and after all of that amazing food and drink that I was sent, it is now time to do that time of day where I open up my advent calendars and show you guys my chocolates that I received in my two advent calendars this year. Now, I've been told that people actually open advent calendars at the beginning of the day, or I've also seen it as well, that people open advent calendars at the beginning of the day, and I obviously open at the end of the day and that's like been my tradition throughout this vlogmas and look ZZ knows I'm recording so she's got to be in the video hi Bubba's hi did you know that I was recording and that you wanted to come on camera I feel like she always knows when I'm recording and she's like who's mom talking to I want to be on the video and so I end up opening my advent calendars in the evening which is obviously not traditional at all but you know what I like going against the norm and yeah it's my little treat at the end of the day for making it through the day and especially a day like today I feel like I definitely need chocolate just to make myself feel better about the day but anyways I had a great Monday. I hope you guys are having a great Monday. Let's open my advent calendars. So we are on day seven. Where is day seven? Oh, it's a big door, guys. Wonder what I get. <gasps> Look, oh, I got a big chocolate today. Hang on, I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you. Oh, come out, come out. It's a rabbit. No, it's a reindeer. I thought it was a rabbit. Man, I really suck at this thing. But it's a little reindeer. <laughs> my chocolate okay now for the difficult advent calendar this advent calendar gives me so much grief let's see if I can find seven quickly I feel like I need to time myself on finding things in this advent calendar like how quickly oh I found it I found it I found it that was like really fast go me okay let's open it. what's in here let's see if it's a new chocolate guys 
What is this? Oh, it's a fudge. I just got a fudge two days ago. If you guys have been watching my vlogmas so far, I think this advent calendar every few days gives me the same chocolates and uh, I'm always like really excited for something new, but I get the same one. But to be honest, I really like the fudge chocolate and I got a little reindeer as well. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wash up, get ready for bed and enjoy my chocolates. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas so far. If you are, please do give these videos a thumbs up because I love creating them for you and I love when I get feedback from you guys that you are enjoying it. And if you made it to this one of the video and you are enjoying my Vlogmas so far, but you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to smash that subscribe button and be a part of my YouTube fam because I love every single one of my subscribers and I. I am uploading every single day until Christmas. So I hope that you guys subscribe and I hope you guys are having an amazing start to December and an amazing start to your week. And yeah, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.